Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning into 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading, so let's hop straight into it. Let's start with the tarot today. Let's see what we got here, y'all. All right, angel spirit guides, ancestors of mine of the highest, highest, highest heart light. Oh. Give me some messages here for the YouTube collective. Give me some messages here for the YouTube collective here. Hmm. Somebody here could be tired of something. Somebody could be tired of a person, a situation, a Everything is a sign and a reading. All right, spirit. What does the collective needs to know? All right, you got Knight of Wands. So somebody could be in a lustful energy or could have been in a lustful energy here. Maybe this person here is tired of being in this energy. Maybe this person is wanting love now. Yes, that's the truth. You got somebody that used to be in a lustful sexual energy that does not want to be in this energy no more. They're tired of it. And that is the truth. This could be your twin flame. This person wants stability. I feel like this person is gaining control in their life. This person is, uh, yeah, this person could be receiving judgment. I feel like this person made a like decision like a final the judgment can also be like a final decision and i feel like this person made a final decision to change their life around they got tired of the same old same old you know what i'm saying talking to this woman that woman it wasn't fulfilling them in any way here okay and they wasn't getting any love like this person here i really feel like it's a lover but maybe this person got hurt before and, you know, it calls for them to close their heart off here, okay, with this two of swords. But, yeah, this person, they don't they don't want to be like that, yeah. This person could feel like you have them out in the cold, okay. They could feel, <laughs> they could be feeling a little rejected by you. Maybe you're not reaching out or maybe you're not, you're not chasing this person. Maybe at one point you chased this person or you constantly kept calling or trying to, you know, see what was going on with them. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I do feel like you maybe could be moving in silence. I feel like you're not, I don't feel like you're communicating like that with anyone. I feel like you could be in hermit or, you know, you just to yourself a whole lot right now. And I don't feel like you're telling too many people your moves and things that you're doing. So it's like this person don't know what you're doing like that. People don't know what you're doing like that. But this person do want to come in and give you like an offer here. Okay. I do feel like this person could have experienced karma, like I said. And this person is coming out of uh, maybe like some type of temporary hardship or something when it's dealing with their finances or something. Maybe God, you know, gave this person karma through their finances. Maybe it was their money that made them be in this big ego or something like that y'all okay or made them feel like the man you know what i'm saying maybe this person had to be humbled in a way or something like that y'all okay um but yeah this person uh do want to come in before you know it's a missed opportunity with you all right they do see you as somebody as wish fulfillment here i do feel like this person is just sitting back watching trying to see um, uh, like, you know, where to come in towards you here. All right. You got people that's in secret competition with you because they know that you are wish fulfillment. They know this person is looking at you. Okay. Uh, you know, they, this person is looking at you like for commitment. This person not looking at you just for, you know, a good time. Like, and they could have been in these other options life, you know, only for a good time and not a long time. But when it comes to you, they're looking at you like this. Like, they want a home life with you, like stability. They want the marriage with you. They want commitment. They want to spend the rest of their life with you. They feel like you're fruitful. You're abundant. Like, so that's how they see you. And that's what they want with you. And you got these people right here that could literally be in secret competition with you over this person. But... 
The difference is this person see you as wifey material. This person actually see you as somebody that they can build a family with. And with them, this is their energy. Lustful. Like, that's it. It's no love in that situation. And you can have these options that's upset because this person look at you in a different light and they could be trying to use sex to get this person to look at them that way and it's not working and um they're upset here okay yeah these people could have worked hard to maybe try to keep this person in this lustful energy they could have been doing things you know to satisfy this person needs temporarily you know what i'm saying i feel like it could have felt good to this person at one time especially if if a woman, you know, giving this person a threesome or he's allowed to mess with her and a friend or the sister or whatever. Okay, I feel like these karmic people were letting this person do any and everything when it comes to, you know, lust. You know what I'm saying? Like, they were. And shoot, this person, they, they, they did it. Okay, but that's not what they want. This person wants love here. Okay, and it's kind of like that is like getting played out and old and i feel like these people are getting upset because it's not working on this person anymore okay these people could have did like a sex spell on this person like sex magic or something okay i'm also hearing tantric sex or something like that y'all okay i definitely feel like these people did some form of magic on this person to try to keep him in this lustful energy not be committal they wanted this person to stay non-committal especially with you because they knew this person wanted to come in and give you a love offer and a commitment so they wanted to make sure that this person was even in this energy with you you know what i'm saying but whatever it is that these people were doing, guess what? It's not working. Like, whatever it is that they were doing, it could have worked temporarily, okay? They could have even manipulated this person. Uh, mess, like I said, messed with this person free will. But it's like whatever kind of magic they were doing is wearing off. It's not working like that. And they're working hard. they still working hard at it, but it's not working like that here. Okay, it's falling apart. You see right here, like it's falling. Like it's just falling apart. Like it's not working like it could have. Like it's temporary. And one thing about spell work, you have to do it over and over and over and over and over and over again. And it's like even though they're doing it over again, it's not working. Okay, it's not working. All right. The world in reverse, these people will not be successful. Okay, they whatever it is plan that they was trying to do here. Okay, <laughs> whatever kind of plot and plan this was to keep you and your twin away from each other or have this person in a lustful energy and even with you, it's like it's not being completed. Okay, so the 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 plan did not work. Okay, <laughs> but that's not gonna stop them from constantly trying, but it's not working. So it's like they're wasting their time and they're upset. Okay, because this person still wants you. Okay, and this person do not want to be in this energy no more. So it's like, yeah, this person is defending themselves. Okay, they're standing up for themselves. They're defending themselves here. And they're defending themselves from these people here. Maybe this person got like a little inkling on like what was going on or something. Yeah, light was shed on like what these people were doing here. Okay, and he's defending himself. He's protecting his energy here. All right. Yeah, this person missing you. This person is missing you. A whole lot of nostalgia. Like you all can have a telepathic communication. Like you all could be communicating through music, y'all. Because it's a song. Uh, I, I think the name of the song was Still in Love with You or something like that, y'all. Okay, when I woke up this morning, that was the... Like this person could be literally sending you messages through songs every day. And it could be getting stronger. Like you could be feeling this person... A lot more now here and y'all when I got up I seen it so I was like wow I was like yeah I said the collective person could be thinking about them okay or communicating with them through music or, or things like that y'all okay because y'all person okay be 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 at me okay and I'll wake up and I get just constantly get downloads and messages soon as I wake up in the morning and I'm like okay yeah that have to be for the collector all right they be wanting me <laughs> 
they be wanting me to relay a message to y'all, okay? So just know, when I woke up this morning, y'all, I seen that song come down my timeline. So this person is still wanting you. This person is still loving you here, okay? And they can't get over you. And this person do not want it to be a missed opportunity here. So this person is going to still try and try and try, okay? Even if you out dating, this person is still going to be trying, okay? Because this person feel like... Child, they the best thing since sliced bread, baby. Okay, especially now that they done worked on themselves, you know, because this person know that you love them. You know what I'm saying? They know that this is a, 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 a twin flame connection. Like, they know it now. So this person is like, okay, if she is dating somebody, I got a little kind of one up against, you know, the the, the competition. Because this person know that you can have other people that's looking at you, that's eyeing you and things like that. And this person like, look, y'all ain't better than me. Okay? But this person has worked on themselves. Like, this person do you know, uh, want to be committed now, all right, this person do not want to be in this lustful energy, you know, all the passion is for you, baby, okay, not these options, this person is missing you so much right now, collective, like, it don't make no sense, and people could have been trying to make decisions for this person, okay, you could have had maybe family and friends that could have been like, no, I don't think you need to do that, or whatever, yeah, this person put an ending to these people, People, situations, places, whatever. He has put an ending to it here. Okay. I do feel like this person feel like he was betrayed and tricked out of a good thing when it comes to these people. Because maybe he found out that these people lied to him about something. Okay. I do feel like he feel like these people tricked him out of a good thing and out of his twin flame connection here. Okay, and he he's feeling betrayed here. I do feel like he could have been to himself and he could have just been thinking on things. Yeah, thinking on things, getting clarity. Okay, he could have found that people were even watching you and, or studying you at some point. Because it could have been a situation where like these people could have been watching you, right? In some way, even if it was through divination, if, if it's a karmic tarot reader that these karmic people got the family and friends or whatever they could have been spying on you through divination or doing some type of spell or something to try to seek some type of truth squaring or whatever it is okay and it's like the moment they feel like this person is coming towards you like they would do some type of spell or some form of manipulation to keep this person from coming towards you or they would amp up something to make this man highly sexual to have him in this lustful energy to where he don't go towards love he go towards the low vibrational part of himself and he go towards these options for you know the sexual advances and things like that here okay but these this is what these people were doing so when i say spying it, it may not be where this, these people are going past your house now some of y'all it could be that bad it could be where these people are actually going by your house or they have contacted neighbors to spy on you or things like that but i'm getting that these people literally could have been spying through divination okay so they could have been trying to ask their pendulum things about you and your person got a karmic tarot reader to because karmics are gifted too y'all they just use their gifts for the wrong for for evil for bad okay so it could have been somebody like spying on you through divination and things like that to see what's going on and they could do spell work to try to delay it okay slow it down like horribly okay or stop it completely but it's not working like i said y'all it's not working like their plan is not working anymore and like the spell work is not even working no more and these people are really really upset at the fact that they cannot stop it here okay yeah these people right here just got to take their losses okay even though it's showing where these people are still doing something but they still got to take their losses Okay, because it's not working. This person see happiness with you. This person want a child with you. They want a family with you. This person looking at you as wish fulfillment. Okay, they're strongly, strongly missing you. Y'all, some of y'all could have known this person since a child. Okay, for some of y'all here. This person is following his intuition now. Okay, and his intuition is telling him to come towards you quickly. Because like I said, he don't want it to be a missed opportunity here. Okay? He does not want it to be a missed opportunity. Where did it go? It went somewhere, y'all. I had it somewhere. 
It was just, oh, here it go. Yeah, this person don't want it to be a missed opportunity. You're going to be hearing from this person some type of message or something like that, okay? And then you see this water down here. Like this person is coming in to express how they feel here, okay? I feel like this person could have went through some type of burdens, y'all, okay? Or some type of, like I said, temporary hardship. But I feel like they're balancing things out. I, and I feel like he's definitely in regret for maybe walking away from you. Okay, he's in regret for walking away from you. He wished that he would have never done that. All right, because he and you know, a part of him feels like he has ruined this relationship between y'all. And for some of y'all person, they feel like it, it, it won't never be back the same. Like, you know, I'm not going to say y'all bitter. He feels like y'all bitter, but he feels like he has did so much to y'all. He feels like you don't love him the same anymore. You know what I'm saying? Or you may not give freely to him. <clears throat> You may not give freely to him like you did, you know, in the past here, okay? And he's in deep regret here for how he, he did things, for maybe things that he could have said to you that was hurtful, for the way that he moved with you. You know, some of y'all, this person just up and ghosted you, didn't give you any clarity. You don't know what happened. You don't know why he just up and left. And he's replaying these things in his head over and over. And he was he's regretting the fact that he did you like that because now he knows that you're his twin flame, you're his true divine counterpart here, okay? But he's also gotten clarity on... Like I said, the, these trick sticks here. Okay, so he's cut these people off here. All right, look, he feel like y'all can have a wealthy family. Like, you could be breaking generational curses here. You could be very abundant. Like I said, even on this card, didn't I say that this person uh, see you as somebody that um, that's very abundant here? Okay, and very fruitful. And this person feel like he can have a very abundant and fruitful life with you. And abundance is not always just money. Okay, it's a part of it, but it's the joy, it's the happiness, it's the fulfillment. Okay, it's the success, it's 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 the it's the little things. Okay, that bring you that fulfillment. Those are all. It all wraps up into um, abundance here. Okay, not just the wealth, which is wealth is 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 some of it here. Okay, but. This person feel like you're the perfect person to build this family with here because I feel like you all are a go-getter. You're very determined. You have a whole lot of drive here. And I definitely feel like when you all were like in separation or something, like you all could have focused on something that like you have financial stability now. Okay. You could have came into a whole lot of wealth, unexpected income. Some of you all could have gotten some type of inheritance. Okay. Rather, this is somebody that passed over. And, and and you found out that you had money that this person left to you or this is divine inheritance and the divine has gifted you with, with some form of wealth. And it was could, could have been unexpected, y'all, okay? And you all definitely have um, a lot of money here, okay? And it could have been like y'all hit the lottery here, okay? It could literally be like y'all could have came into so much money to the point where it's like you all could have like hit the lottery or something like that. This is a lot of money, Okay, um, and that could be another reason why you're moving in silence here. Okay, it could it could literally be where um, you don't want people to know that you got this kind of wealth of this money. So you still could be wearing regular clothes. And I don't feel like you all are even the type of person that wear name brand like that. Anyway, I feel like you all are very humble no matter how much money you have, no matter how much status you have, success you have. I, you know, even and I feel like you do like the finer things in life, but I feel like. You know, you don't go around flaunting it. Like, even if you're able to get, <clears throat> even if you're able to get a, a, a hundred thousand dollar chain, I don't feel like you're going to go out and spend a hundred thousand dollars on a chain. Like, I feel like you'll invest it into something, you'll save it or help the less fortunate or something like that here. Okay. But this person does see that you have had some type of glow up. Like God literally favors you here. Okay. Things are going very well. You're blessed and highly favored right now. And this could have been another thing that, you know, people just didn't like, but it's okay. They got to take that up with God here. Okay. You're, you're definitely having new beginnings here. Okay. Um, in my third eye, I'm getting Ace of Pentacles. 
okay? Ace of Pentacles. And, and on this page of Pentacles, I don't know why I'm getting Ace of Pentacles on this card. I feel like this Pentacle right here is, is like, that's what God gave you. And that's the Ace of Pentacles here. All right. I definitely feel like you have been blessed tremendously in your finances. And it's only finna grow. Like, you think the money that you got right now is something? Like, no, you ain't seen nothing yet. Like, God is about to give you even more money, even more wealth here. Okay, and people see it like people can see maybe that you went from a rags to riches situation. Some of you all could have been homeless. You could have been living in your car. Okay, or you could have been in and out of hotels or some of you all temporarily your kids had to go with family because you didn't have enough to even take care of yourself. So you had to sacrifice, you know, saying and, and for your children and you had to let them go temporarily with their family and things like that. Like some of you all literally could have had a hard time and. You all could have been having a hard time when this person first came in. Okay, and maybe the family and friends could have judged you harshly because maybe they thought that you was going to use this person. You know what I'm saying? For some of y'all, that's what it was. Like these people were in his ear and whatever. But look at you now. Look at me now. Look at me now. I'm getting paper. Yeah, you're getting paper now here. Okay. Queen of Wands here, okay? You're you're out in the spotlight here, okay? You're getting a whole lot of recognition for something. And it could be wrapped around your spiritual gifts here, okay? You could be very, very intuitive. And that's another thing. Like, this person knew that you was very intuitive or psychic-like. And, and you could have scared them shitless, okay? <laughs> you could have scared this person here, okay? They, they could have been very scared of your spirituality, all right? And I feel like maybe they didn't know much about it. Okay, and, and when you don't know something, it's easy for people to come in and tell you anything. It's easy for people to come in and do anything and tell you anything when you don't know and when you're not aware. And I feel like the people around this person here, okay, could have manipulated this person because they didn't know nothing about spirituality. And because you are a psychic or a high priestess or... Uh, you know, very intuitive. They could have definitely said that you did some type of form of dark magic or something. When really it was these people that was doing it here, okay? Because they sent out dark stuff to keep y'all apart. They manipulate. They messed with this person's free will and they tried to mess with your free will too, but you're so protected here. It's like whatever they sent out bounced right back off of you. It doesn't work, which is why they constantly, constantly keep even, they constantly even trying it now, but it ain't working and they're mad that it's not working like that, y'all, okay? It is not working working yeah this person is defending themselves y'all okay finally they're standing up to this family this friend group okay and and these people cannot pull the wool over this person's eyes anymore here okay they just cannot do it they're definitely protecting their energy they're definitely not fooling with these people here it could have been a queen of swords specifically that was trying to control this person of feminine energy here Okay, let's see what's going on with this feminine energy that was trying to control this person. We're going to tap into it and see who this person is. Because, baby, it's a feminine energy that was around your person that definitely was manipulating this person. I'm telling you, or was trying to control this person. Like, didn't want this person to think for themselves, have a mind of their own here. Okay. And, yeah. And your person is... is, is a whole emperor, but I don't feel like he's seen that in himself. Now he could have this person could have a, a very good job, and he could be a boss or something, or or a manager or something like that. But when it came to his life, baby, whoever this Queen of Swords is was trying to control him or something. Let's see who this Queen of Swords is in this man's life or was in his life because I feel like he cut this person off. Whoever this person is that was trying to control him whoever this person is caused him to lose out on this connection and caused him to lose out on a lot of money okay a spirit what is this who is this queen of swords what did this queen yeah see look like, y'all can't make it up i know what i'm talking about i just used the cards for for confirmation this queen of swords was sneaky and didn't i tell you somebody was around him trying to uh bend his free will here Somebody definitely was doing some form of witchcraft, y'all, okay? They were. They was doing it by word of mouth, and they actually was, like, using blood and things like that, y'all, okay? They were. So this Queen of Swords, like I said, it could be 
a woman in this man's family or this is one of them options that he went towards here okay that was mad because this man is in love with you and she tried to keep yeah she tried to end this baby she tried to put an end to this honey and it didn't work and she wanted to keep the, look she wanted to keep this man in and out your life keep him lustful because she felt like if she could keep him in this energy right here she y'all she could have really been keep doing some type of spell to keep this man like full of full of lust okay and 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 it's just not she, it ain't working god said baby give it up give it up okay get out this man energy get out this woman energy just go and give it up this woman finna receive heavy karma for what she been doing see y'all too strong <clears throat> Y'all are too strong for whatever it is that this Queen of Swords was sending out here, okay? And it's not working. It could have temporarily worked because maybe you all didn't know where an attack was coming from or you didn't know what somebody was doing. Maybe you wasn't aware of what was going on at first. So temporarily, it could have been working, whatever this person was sending. But when you got that inkling of somebody was tampering with your energy or trying to penetrate your energy, you could have been like, wait a minute. So you start protecting yourself. You could have started praying and 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 doing something to protect yourself like doing spiritual baths return to senders and things like that here okay um yeah but look you still get new beginnings this person could have even did something to destroy your finances but that didn't even work okay and um you all definitely could be very balanced right now like things are very good in your life right now and this queen of swords is upset <laughs> Because they didn't stop this person from loving you. They didn't stop this person from wanting to come towards you. And this man money could be getting ready to come back. And he could have went through karma, y'all. Your person could have went through karma and could have took a lot of losses. But that's not even working no more. Because now this man is getting balanced in his life and his money is coming back up. Your money has already came up. You done already been blessed in your finances. Like you ain't struggling no more. Okay. And things are going very well for you. You're very balanced right now. And that's why this queen of swords or the five of wands people are feeling defeated right now. Because both of you all are balancing things out in y'all life here. So it's like whatever they sent out, it ain't working. But And I definitely feel like it's because your person has hit. Look at this. Baby, this person look at you as wish fulfillment. You hear me? You hear me? When he, when he look at you, all the boxes are checked off. You hear me? All the boxes are checked off here. Okay? And it's like they could not keep this person... You know, they can't they couldn't stop this person from looking at you in a positive light. You know what I'm saying? You are the light. This person know, you know, that y'all are twin flames here. And that's the truth. God said that is the truth. This everything I said is the absolute truth here. And look, you are finna get ready to receive justice. This man is finna come in and make things fair to you, make things right with you. Things are finna be balanced out. Whatever it is that this woman did to affect the balance or to slow something up, they're not she's not or these people are not going to be able to do it anymore here, okay? For some of them, they're going to go to jail, okay? Whatever it is that they were doing for some of them, okay, they are about to go to jail, okay? And that is the truth, okay? Because the chariot can also represent, like, the justice system as well, okay? And balance and balance, okay? So some of these people, I'm telling, and... and, and for some of these, they they from for some of y'all, these people are. It's gonna be a, a maybe the ring leader or something, maybe unalived, or they are gonna try to do it to themselves. Okay, and that's how the balance gonna be restored, or they gonna go to prison for a very long time for something that they did. Because I don't even feel like this person or people just did anything to you. They could have did it to multiple people. It's just when they did it to you. God don't play about you. And so these people are getting ready to receive heavy karma. And they could already be receiving karma. <laughs> they could already be receiving karma right now here. Okay. But yeah, this person finna get ready to come towards you, baby. Okay. And he want to make things right with you. Okay. Yeah. And they highly upset because whatever spell work they were doing is not working no more. It has wore off. And and they, it's not going to stop them from still trying, collective. But they only going to drain their own self out because it's not working. It's not working. Okay. Let's see. Let's do. Let's 
let's get some of these. Give me some messages from this good spirit. All right, spirit, give me some messages here. All right, I have never loved anyone the way that I love you. I'm hearing that song about y'all, Ashanti. Y'all, I keep picking up on Ashanti and Nelly, okay? I feel like you all could have been in separation with this person for a very, very, very... And y'all, my nose keep itching, okay? That's definitely confirmation, all right? That's definitely confirmation. My nose is itching. You all could have been in separation for whoever reading this for. You was in separation with this person for a while. It was over a year. I'm, I'm getting between one and five years, y'all. For some of y'all, it could have been longer. But I'm specifically getting between one and five years confirmation. My phone just dinged, okay? And y'all about to get ready to reconcile with each other here, okay? Like y'all could have had to go through this separation to grow and to heal and, and, you know, come back together and whatever. And it's getting ready to happen, okay? But this person is wanting to let you know that he has never loved anyone the way that he loved you. So it's like, no matter where he went, y'all, no matter when y'all was in separation, if he was messing with options or whatever, nobody had this man heart. Okay? Nobody had this man heart collective. I ain't making it up. You see it. All right? I have never loved anyone the way that I love you. And it's the truth. And this person might not have ever told you this. But I'm telling you, but I feel like this person is going to come to you and he's going to tell you this truth here. All right. This person has never loved anyone the way that he has loved you. You're the only one that has this man heart that has ever had this man heart. Okay. Yeah. I sabotaged this connection and I regret it. Y'all, didn't I say this man could have sabotaged this connection? Okay, but I feel like them five and ones people helped him sabotage it. But he sabotaged it and he know it. He could have ran from it. You know what I'm saying? And some of it was because his free will was tampered with y'all. Okay, and they did something. They put placed something on him to have him in a lustful energy like that. I don't feel like this man was dead, dead lustful. Okay, I really don't, y'all. I really feel like this man really wanted to be with you. He really wanted to think about giving you a commitment. He might not have ever wanted to be committed with nobody, but when it came to you, he did. And these people placed some type of spell on this man to keep him in a highly lustful energy or something like that, y'all. So some of it, it was spell work, y'all, okay? But I feel like he wasn't paying attention to the signs, okay, that God was giving him. He didn't pay attention to the red flags here. Okay, but he did sabotage this connection. So it's like he's taking accountability for his part for when maybe he did know. Okay, or something like that here. Okay, for the things that he did know. Okay, you know, and he kept on being in the low vibration here. Okay, and he regretted. Look, I fell in love with you the moment that I saw you. I hear that song um, by Jamie Foxx on the Dream Girls. I think that's him and Beyonce. Uh, when I first saw you, I said, oh my, that's my dream, that's my dream. Yeah, this person like, look, when I first saw you, I said, oh my, baby, you're beautiful to this person. You're so beautiful. Like, And, and yes, y'all, your face card can be on 10, your body can look good, it could be banging or whatever, you could be shaped like a Coke bottle Okay, whether you small, medium, or large, whatever, your you, your frame looks nice, your face looks nice, okay, I feel like you all are natural beauties. Whoever this is for, I don't feel like you wear a lot of makeup, and if you do, it's very minimum, okay, or or it's, it's, it's like every blue moon, you might go get your face beat up or something like that, you know what I'm saying, but yeah, this person fell in love with you the moment that they saw you, it was your soul, it was your spirit, they like, woo, oh, my, my, my. Show look good tonight. <laughs> y'all, y'all communicate through music because I keep picking up on music. My, 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 my. 
show sure look good tonight And your soul dang fine You got me saying my, 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 my Y'all, you look good Y'all, this person gonna wanna go on a date when they come back in And I feel like you gonna slip on that red dress and them high heels And woo, you gonna set this man's soul on fire Okay I'm even hearing that as a song. You set my soul on fire. Something like that. I can't I can't even think of the melody. I can hear it in my head, but it ain't, ain't coming out like how it is in my head. Okay? It's an old song or something like that, y'all. Okay? But you set this person's soul on fire. Okay? This man going to be like, Woo! Lord, y'all. Y'all, and I feel like in this separation, y'all not only bossed up when it comes to your money, and y'all became a whole entrepreneur and boss. But baby, let me tell you, y'all could have been doing that yoga and Pilates. You're flexible and stuff, okay? Y'all gonna y'all been y'all some of y'all been practicing for when this person returns. And y'all gonna be doing all kind of trips, uh tricks and uh uh flips off that thing, okay? Y'all fit. Okay, y'all been doing that cardio, and he gonna be like, woo! Okay, baby, in this separation, y'all could have been working out, getting that body fit, and child, y'all, some, if you was real small or skinny or something, y'all, maybe y'all got a little thick, okay, and maybe if you, you know, was on the bigger side, maybe you slimmed up, got that waist snatched, and baby, let me tell you, honey, your person is like, golly, what you been doing since I been gone, cause baby, you looking good, baby, I feel like y'all is looking fine, you hear me, y'all looking good, baby, and this person, they, they want you, you got this person drooling, you gonna have this person drooling, Calista, you gonna put on that red dress and them high heels, okay, then my said, and you're so dang fine, you got me saying my, 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 <laughs> Okay, but anyway, that is hilarious, y'all. That's hilarious, but it's beautiful, though. This is a beautiful energy, you know what I'm saying? Seeing from where it came from to where it's going, okay? And and it, it's a beautiful thing, okay? Woo, this person said, look, I've never experienced intense connect. Look, I never knew love before. Then came you, then came with you. I never knew love before. Then came you, then came you. <laughs> y'all, this person ain't never experienced love before until came you. You hear me? Y'all see how my my head is like a boombox? Okay, Mr. Boombox, stick and I don't box it. <laughs> Y'all, for real, when I woke up this morning, I, I'm telling you, it's like God was already preparing to make my my, 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 my head a boombox. Because I, I strolled and started seeing this. I seen that song where it says somebody was still in love with you or something like that. And I was like, what in the world? <coughs> Hold on, y'all. Somebody must <coughs> don't want me to get this message out. I'm going to be laughing too much. You know, when I get to coughing like this during a read. Baby, somebody be wanting me to shut up. People could have been trying to do shut up spells on you. You could have just started coughing up a lung. And, and you don't know why. You ain't sick or nothing. You just start hacking and coughing. <laughs> you like, what is going on? Why am I coughing up a lung? Ain't nothing wrong. Ain't, you ain't had nothing spicy, hot. Okay, and you ain't sick. Child, these folks trying to do shut up spells on you and all kind of stuff. Because they ain't want you to talk or nothing. Get certain things out. Speak the truth to this person or whatever. But anyway, whoever trying to shut me up, it ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. But anyway, like I was saying, yeah, this person ain't never experienced this intense connection before. They ain't never experienced no love like this before, baby. And they love it. You know, they could have ran from this connection at first. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, this person I feel like was a little scared. On top of that, you know, they free will was tampered with. But aside from the, the spell work, I feel like this person was damaged a little bit. Because this person could have been betrayed, cheated on, lied on. And this person could have been getting disappointed ever since a little boy. His parents could have been the first people that, 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 uh, 
you know, disappointing him, promising him things, not giving it to him, didn't give the love, give him the love that he really needed. And, and men need to be nurtured too. You know what I'm saying? They need to be loved on too as a child. You know, who said that a man don't supposed to cry or show feelings? And you know what I'm saying? He could have been neglected and abandoned as a kid. He could have been disappointed way before his first love or 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 first person he dated or anything like that, you know, came in and broke his heart and whatever. You know what I'm saying? So he was he was betrayed and lied to and abandoned as a kid. And it didn't make it no better because when he started dating women start lying to him and, 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 and cheating on him and using him and abusing him and things like that. So, you know, he had to heal from those things here. All right. It says, I know what you mean to me and I am ready to be with only you, baby. It can be you, 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 you. I just want you, you, you. If I can have anything, I put it on everything that it would be you. You, you, you. Okay, that's Johnny Gill. I think that's the same one. Somebody like Johnny Gill. Okay. Come by my mind is by Johnny Gill. And and this song, Only You, is Johnny Gill too. Somebody here like Johnny Gill. Somebody really, really loved that old school R and B. Okay. Yeah. Some of y'all could, you know, for some of y'all, y'all could have felt like you just wanted to move on with your life because maybe you felt like it was taking too long for this person to come back in. If you listen to Tarot, maybe you constantly heard Tarot readers talk about this person is going to constantly come back in. They'll give you a time frame, but you got to understand when you're dealing with a twin flame connection, it's a whole lot of spiritual welfare. Okay. <coughs> it's a whole lot of people. <coughs> y'all, you see how. Soon as I said something about spiritual welfare, how I start coughing and hacking hard like that again. Somebody definitely could have been trying to have you to shut up. I heard shut the F up. Somebody could have been trying to have you to shut the F up. They don't like for you to talk or speak. You could be a truth speaker. You could be a psychic. If you don't have no channel like me, you could just be somebody that speaks the truth. Okay? You come into people's lives and you shed light on the darkness around them and you're a true speaker and people don't like that and they they could have been trying to do shut up spells on you you know what i'm saying not wanting you to talk wanting you to be silent and all that kind of stuff walking around like you can't speak or something like that like you deaf okay they could have definitely been trying to do that because somebody instead of trying to close my throat throat up Okay, they could have been doing it on him, trying to close his throat chakra up or something. Not, not making him vocal or uh, express how he fully feel about you. Because this man was deeply in love with you. I'm telling even when this man walked away from you, he was deeply in love with you, y'all. I promise you. And you could be like, how can a person be deeply in love with you and walk away? Because I'm telling you, these people was doing something. Okay, I'm telling you. But yeah, y'all could have felt like... It was taking so long for this person to come back in and you could have been listening to readings and stuff like that. And you could have felt like readers was giving you false hope. Like maybe I, I, don't, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You could have felt like maybe we was giving y'all false hope. You know what I'm saying? And we don't get on here to lie. You know what I'm saying? At least the good ones, at least the good readers. And it's some really great readers on YouTube. Okay. I'm going to call out a few of them that I watch. Okay. You got, uh, Saving Grace 999 Tarot, she's a beautiful person. Go subscribe to her. I watch her. Okay, she's a very beautiful reader. Ain't nobody getting on her page to lie. I'm just telling you that right now, especially the good ones. Um, Spiritual Sage, she's a great reader. Um, let's see. Uh, what is the, uh, the other ones, y'all? Um, it's some more. I can't think right now, y'all. Okay. Oh, um, Lord, I can't, uh, oh, it's another one, uh, doggone it. Y'all, I can't think. I know for sure those, the, the two that I watch, okay, and they are, they're great readers, okay. <coughs> oh, uh, Moon Goddess. I, th I think it's Moon Goddess 2212, y'all, okay. She's a very beautiful reader, okay, her. Saving Grace 999 Tarot, Spiritual Sage, and um, it's one more, y'all, and I cannot think. But so, y'all, be careful who y'all watch, okay? Because sometimes people will project <coughs> certain things onto you. So, you want to make sure that you get a really genuine reader. And the ones that I mentioned are very genuine readers. 
okay so if you have not subscribed to them go subscribe to them okay them the only ones that i watch like that you ain't gonna catch me watching nobody else okay them the only ones that i will let tap into my energy like that okay and they have really beautiful um <clears throat> spirits oh and um that's it um cosmic royal family i think miss mystic beauty is but it's cosmic royal family she's another one here okay that's it now i i, I wouldn't suggest nobody else now it could be other good ones but them the ones that i know for a fact that's good okay <laughs> okay for a fact okay <clears throat> so yeah so yeah y'all uh y'all could have thought that you know readers was lying to y'all you know what I'm saying? But people was doing spell work on y'all connection. They was slowing it up. I'm telling you now. They could have could have uh, tried to cut y'all cord. They could have did something to try to cut y'all cord. You know what I'm saying? They could have did all kind of things, y'all. I'm talking about killing animals, everything, y'all. I'm telling you, using blood and everything. They did everything under the sun. And it was to delay it so long to the point where you you get so tired to where you just let it go and you don't ever want to deal with this person no more. That was the plan. They knew they couldn't stop you off from loving each other. But it was to like delay it so much to the point where you move on with somebody else or you give up on a twin flame journey because it's taking so long. They wanted to put in your head that this person don't love you. He ain't coming towards you or uh, the karmic one and all that kind of stuff. Even though karmic energy come out, y'all, it do. And sometimes they do do spell work to get your person and try to uh, take your uh, divine inheritance. They do. And I speak on it. When I pick it up, baby, I speak on what they do. I, you know what I'm saying? Because I be wanting y'all to be aware of what they do. But it's, it's, it's like they try to do things to get you away from your divine counterpart. You know what I'm saying? So some of y'all might have, you know, moved on towards somebody else. Because they wanted to try to trick you out of... You know, your, your destiny. What was fated for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, just think about it. You know deep in your heart, God told you this was your person. But these people were doing something to delay it. So say, for instance, it's been five, six, ten years or whatever. They like, dang, so is you going to wait all this time and not be with nobody, not date nobody else? Is you just going to wait to see if this person... Got, like, they wanted it to be where you lost hope on your twin. Like, you gave up on your twin. That's what they wanted. You know what I'm saying? They wanted you to get out here and, and be with somebody else. And I'm not saying anything wrong with dating. Nothing is wrong with dating. Because not everybody is going to get back with their twin. Sometimes you will. God will replace your twin with a high level soulmate. But for whoever reading this is for, you had karmic people, I'm telling you, that was purposely trying to cause you to give up on your person. I'm telling you. Okay? They wanted to delay it as long as they could. And some of y'all, it could have been a year or more, like I said. Okay? You know? But if you moved on with your life and you still watching my reading, a part of you still longing for this person because you know deep down in your heart you're supposed to be with this person. You know what I'm saying? Even if somebody, if, if y'all have moved on with somebody and your heart is still with this twin here and it's pulling on you, deep down in your heart you knew you was really supposed to be with this person. And somebody could have tried to take it from you. You know what I'm saying? Even with this person, I feel like this is them. Like they ain't feeling fulfilled. If this person went towards a karmic person, they it's like it's 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 like it's hurting them. What's that song about Whitney Houston? Uh why does it hurt so bad? Why does it feel so sad? I thought I was over you, but I keep crying when I why I keep crying when I don't love you? Yeah, child of spell work could have been telling this person that they don't love you. Well, really, in actuality, this person did. You, they was trying to trick this person's mind. They was trying. They did a lot of stuff on this man's crown chakra, okay, and his sacral chakra. They wanted to keep him in a lustful energy, and they didn't want him to be in love, okay, especially with you. All right. And and just know, y'all, it's meant for y'all to be together. It is meant for y'all to be with this person. It is. It's meant for y'all to be together. For whoever reading this for, it is. Okay, it is. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody trick you out of your, your spot now. Now, I'm not saying don't get out here and be in the bed and not work on your career and, and, and not fix yourself up or, or not go out and have fun and things like that. 
you know what I'm saying, and be sad and depressed, but you know, have fun and do things, but don't don't let nobody trick you out of your spot here. If God told you this was your person, this is your person. You know what I'm saying? But continue to love yourself and work on yourself. And y'all already done bossed up. So it's like I ain't even got to tell y'all that. Y'all done already did something to work on your finances to have you um, in the successful energy anyway here. Okay? I feel like y'all already loving y'all self here. Okay? And this is, they, they might have used your person to siphon your energy. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> They could, because they could have wanted this person to hurt you. They could have had it to where this person walked away from you so you wouldn't be successful. But like I said, it didn't work that way because you're still successful. You're still abundant. You're still happy. You're still uh, fulfilled here. Okay. Yeah, this person, I'm telling you, he said, please forgive me. All right. I know I messed up. He know he messed up. And this person going to come back and apologize too. Okay, look, I hid my true desires for you. He hid it, y'all. He hid it. Didn't I tell you this man was in love with you the whole time? Even when this man walked away from you, he was deeply in love with you at that. But he hid it. Because these people, I'm telling you, put something on this man to cause him to be highly sexual. Like, not, not wanting to be in love and wanting to go towards these fantasies or whatever, y'all. Okay? But this man was deeply in love with you. I'm telling you. So never doubt the fact that this man loves you because this man was in love with you and still in love with you. Look, I, child, I can't make it up. I ain't making nothing up here. It don't matter how long something was delayed or put back. Y'all, baby, delayed don't mean denied. Remember that. Delayed does not, and I might title this reading that. Delayed does not mean denied. Okay, people could have slowed this up with their witchcraft and dark demonic ass shit. They could have. But that does not mean denied because it's meant for y'all to be together. And it could have it could have been because this person wasn't seeing the truth and what these people was doing around. And it wasn't meant for these people to be around you. You know what I'm saying? That could have been a delay too because he wasn't seeing the truth around the people that was around him. And he had to cut these folks off. And until he seen the truth and what was around him, y'all couldn't come together. That could have delayed it. He wasn't seeing what was around him. He wasn't seeing the truth. He wasn't seeing the signs and the synchronicities or paying attention to the red flags. You know what I'm saying? He had to start seeing things through his spiritual eyes. You know? But this person loves you. It says, I love you so much, but I keep running from you and I don't understand why. Didn't y'all didn't I sit up there and tell you when this man walked away from you, this man was deeply in love with you? I didn't I tell you they were messing with this man, crown chakra? Y'all better stop playing with me like I don't know what I'm talking about. Like I don't know what I'm talking about. Y'all know I know what I be talking about. Y'all know I know what I be talking about. You heard me. I just said that man don't even know why he was so deeply in love with you and he and he abandoned you and ghosted you. He don't know why. He could know now, but at that time, he didn't know. He like, what in the world? Why am I over here and not my heart over there? I'm telling you, child, that man, that man didn't know he was coming and going. He like, whoo. He was like, uh, <laughs> every time I think of that, y'all, it'd it be so funny, uh, the weekend when he was uh, in the mirrors or whatever and it's like he couldn't get out. When I end this, I'm going to look at it, y'all, because that was so freaking funny and that's kind of what I'm picturing. Your person didn't know he was coming or going because they was doing so much spell work on him. For real. He didn't understand why. He was like, why am I walking away from this person and I'm in love with them and I'm going somewhere else where it ain't no love yet? Like, why am I doing this? What is wrong with me? He didn't know what was going on with him. Every time he got ready to see, he don't know why all of a sudden he don't want to go when he really want to go. <laughs> Look, but the universe fighting for y'all to be together. Didn't I tell y'all it might have been delayed but not denied? See, God is still protecting y'all, whether, whether you know it or not, even if it don't look like it. Because God could have been trying to fool these people that was trying to constantly attack y'all in this connection. Wanting them to believe that they was doing something, but they really wasn't. They was really just racking up karma. Because <clears throat> didn't I say for some of them, they finna go to jail and some of them, they finna be unalived. Okay. But it says the universe is fighting for y'all souls to be together. And y'all gonna be together in this lifetime. I think, <clears throat> y'all, let me see how long. Okay. Yeah. Because at first, I feel like at first this person didn't know what this connection was he might not have known that it was a twin flame connection then he just knew he was deeply in love with you but i don't feel like he knew uh 
why it was so intense here. Let's see how long. I just want to see something real quick. Let's Google it. Yeah, it says the couple rekindled their relationship after a 10-year split. Okay, it says in a world of breakups, Nelly and Ashanti proved that the love gets sweeter the second time around. Y'all did not say y'all was in separation with this person for a very long time. Did not say that. I said that, didn't it? But some of y'all, it might have actually been this long. But I got one to five years. But for some of y'all, it could have been up to 10 years. Okay, it literally could have been up to 10 years, y'all. Okay? And and <clears throat> like I said, <clears throat> these people delayed it, but it didn't mean denied. Some of y'all might be having children, you know, upper in age here. Okay? Y'all could be having, or this person could be having their first child and maybe in their late 30s or, or 40s or something like that. Okay, because I feel like this person do want a child with you here. And it was meant for you all to have a child together. Like a spirit baby is ready to be born here. Okay. But this person was very confused for a long time because he was under a lot of spell work. Okay, look. I never expected to fall in love with you so quickly. Didn't I tell you? I told you this person fell in love with you fast. It's 55 on the clock. It's going to be some changes around here, boy. It's going to be some changes around here, boy. Okay, yeah, y'all is going to be together. And I'm going to keep saying it because y'all is going to be together. But I do feel like some of y'all were in separation for a very long time or you going to be. You know what I'm saying? Because my readers could be past, present, or future. Maybe y'all still going through a separation. This could be y'all future energy of y'all being together. Some of y'all, this could be going on now and y'all already been in separation for a long time and it's getting ready to come together because everybody on different timelines. Okay, but y'all are coming together though. You know what I'm saying? And you see how beautiful the connection is with them. They was, bro, they was broken up 10 whole years. So like I said, it don't matter how long something has been delayed. It does not mean denied. If you meant to be with this person, you meant to be with them. It don't matter how long it's been. So never give up. You hear me? Never, never give up. If God told you this is who you meant to be with. Yeah. Oh, uh, some of y'all could have been like, I never want to see you again because you hurt me. Some of y'all could either be still hurt or you were hurt. Okay. And this person hurt you so much that to the point where you could have blocked them. You said you don't want to see them no more, deal with them no more or nothing. Okay. And like I said, for some of y'all, you was like, look, I'm moving on with my life because y'all was hurt. This person hurt you. You know, abandoning you and stuff like that and hurting you. You know, y'all was hurt to the core when this person walked away from you. And you all didn't do anything. You couldn't understand. Like, you intuitively knew this person was deeply in love with you. And you couldn't understand why. Why they were doing this to you. Like, why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to us? Like, why are you, you know. And, and this person could have said something and blocked you. And, you know, it could have hurt you. I'm talking about hurt you really bad. You know what I'm saying? But just know, collective, that this person was under something. I'm telling you. Okay? Uh, and, and, and some of the stuff that they were doing, they didn't even know that they was doing it. I'm telling you. Okay? They didn't. And I ain't making excuses for this person, but I'm just giving you the messages how God given it to me. He really didn't know what he was doing because people were playing in his energy and, and messing with his free will. Whenever he got ready to come towards you, he really didn't know why he was pulling away from you. Yeah, he was hurt in the past, but this man was still willing to, like, come towards you and give you a commitment. I'm telling you. Just think about it. Every time you all got ready to come together, y'all could have had some type of argument. Uh, or every time y'all planned to come together, something always happened. It's either he had to do something or all of a sudden he changed his plans or changed his mind. Or it was always something that was the spell work, y'all. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Yeah, but it says no matter what happens, my heart will always belong to you. Didn't I tell you no matter what these people did, this man never stopped loving you. This man never stopped loving you. And I don't feel like you ever stopped loving him. Like they couldn't stop the love between y'all. Like they wanted y'all to hate each other. <clears throat> but it didn't work. 
And even though these people could still be doing spell work, it ain't working. Okay, it's wearing off. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all highly protected. It ain't working. And these people are upset because it's not working. Yeah, this person, stuff was delayed too because he had to go through some spiritual lessons. Okay, so your person could have racked up some karma too. You know, but he had to go through this to awaken. All right? Yeah, and these people could have been delaying his awakening here. All right, they could know that he's spiritually gifted just like you, and they didn't want this man third eye to open up. They didn't want him to see the truth. They didn't want him to start. They didn't want him to break away from the matrix. They didn't want that. Okay, they didn't want him to see through his third eye. They did not. And they was trying to keep it closed, but it didn't work. And it could have took a long time. And like I said, they could have delayed this man's spiritual growth and his healing and things like that. But it didn't work. You hear me? It didn't work. Okay? And this man's heart always, always belonged to you. Okay? I'm going to pull a couple more and I'm going to end it, y'all. Because I've been on here almost an hour. <laughs> okay, give me a few more spirit. Look, I think about you so much, it's scaring me. This person's thinking about you so much. Okay? It, like, he could be thinking about you so much to where he feel like it's unhealthy. Okay, so you could be thinking about him a whole lot right now because he's thinking about you a whole lot. If you're thinking about him a whole lot, you constantly getting these songs and things like that, like he's speaking to you. That is him. I told you I got up this morning and I'm, I'm telling the songs was coming in. Okay, like this, you y'all could be telepathic to communicating. Even if you're getting like little urges and stuff like that, you tingling in, in your sugar bowl. Y'all, I got to say it like that, okay? I got to keep it PG. But if you tingling in your sugar bowl area, he's sending you that. Because he missing that thing. I'm telling you, he ready to beat that junk down. You hear me? <laughs> Baby, he ready to beat that junk down. You hear me? But yeah, he, 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 he definitely went through a spiritual lesson or he's currently going through a spiritual lesson. Okay, but he's thinking about you a lot here. Okay? Yeah, it was meant for you all to let each other go so y'all could grow. Okay? Because he had to see some stuff clearly. He had to go through some things. Okay? Y'all hearing that song by Lil Boosie. And Lil Boosie is from New Orleans here. Okay? You know, that's usually the place where they say people do the voodoo and all that stuff from. Somebody definitely was doing uh, uh, some voodoo hoodoo and uh, some real dark stuff to y'all here. Okay? I'm hearing that song. I've been going through some things, but don't nobody understand me, man. I want right candy, man. Something like that. I think that's what he said. I've been going through some things. Hope it might stay the same, but they always change. I've been going through some things. Your person like, shit, I've been going through some things. He was going through some things. He said, hope it might stay the same, but they always change. I've been going through some things. Yeah. This person, I'm telling you, when he went down, because I feel like he could have started losing stuff. And man, he thought his people was going around him was going to stay the same, but they changed on him. They switched up on him. You know what I'm saying? These people betrayed him. Okay? Yeah. Father God, I've been betrayed. Feel like I've been beat like a slave. But I learned from my mistakes. He learned from his mistakes. You hear me? He learned from his mistakes. And he got boundaries because in that song, he said, uh... Uh, pray, what he say? Pray, he said, I pray to make me cold hearted, cold hearted. So he could have turned cold hearted towards these people that betrayed him. You know what I'm saying? He realizing like who to put his wall up against. And baby, he cut these people off her because they betrayed him, baby, in the worst way. Yay. And, and, and when he said, uh, he been beat like a slave, child. I'm trying to tell you, these people, I'm telling you, could have caused this man to rack up so much karma and whatever. He went through a real hard lesson, y'all. Okay. It says, please be patient because I'm afraid of commitments. Your person was afraid of commitments. All right. It says, I know I was wrong by not talking to you. Would you be open to talking now? He want to talk now. Okay. He want to talk now. I'm telling you. And he said, he know he wrong. Y'all, this person could have blocked you. When he walked away, not only did he just walk away, he blocked you. So you could, he never got your messages, your calls, no nothing because he blocked you. You know what I'm saying? Like he didn't, he didn't talk to you. He didn't reach out to you. He didn't check on you. He didn't do none of that. And he said, I know I was wrong by not talking to you, but would you be open to talking now? Like he want to be honest with you. He want to open up to you. And I feel like he also want to tell you like what happened to him because he know the truth. He know the truth. Look, I wish you would knock on my door. He want to hear from you y'all now. 
Okay, now he want he could have unblocked you, and he could be hoping that you reach out to him. You know what I'm saying? Cause he be he could be scared that you're gonna reject him. Okay, but I I feel like he gonna get the courage to talk to you, cause cause some of y'all, <laughs> some of y'all might be a little a little mad and disappointed still. But he could be watching to see like how your mood is. Like if you're going out and having fun, he could be like, okay, I don't feel like this person is hurt. It looked like they laughing and smiling. So I feel like this is a good time to come in and apologize. Okay. They could have wanted some time to pass by, you know, to where you're in a, in a good place to where they can come in and you're not hurt. You know, because this person don't want to argue with you. They don't. This person don't want to argue with you, fight with you. They want to make things right with you here. Okay. But, yeah, y'all, that's all I have for you all. I hope this resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your donations. Thank you for booking personal readings with me. And thank you for subscribing to my new channel, Unseen Secrets, y'all. And it's 104 on the clock. That's 5. Didn't I say it's going to be some changes? It's going to be some changes around here. Around here, around here, around here. Okay. But, yeah, y'all, I love y'all. Okay, so, so, so very much. And thank you for supporting me. All right. And... God love you, and I do too. Bye.